you're talking about tourists and American tourists, they when they come to, when they're finally allowed back in Europe and and go to Paris, they want to see it like they envision it in the postcards or like their parents saw it in their honeymoon or whoever saw, you know, these beautiful sights across Europe. It would be disappointing if there had been some sort of modern uh, twist to to Notre Dame in the rebuilding. I think it is the right decision. We see it here in Italy all the time. An earthquake wipes something out. The, the Basilica in Assisi, for example. They built it exactly as it was before because people want to see that. They expect it. And I don't think that that's a wrong decision to preserve history, even if you have to recreate it. Dave Clark, the argument's been made by some architects that, well, this is a structure that's uh, always been a work in progress ever since the 12th century when the first uh, uh, cornerstone was laid. And that uh, why not innovate? Well, in fact, the spire that they've made the decision on today uh, is a 19th century innovation uh, to medieval uh, cathedral. The, the spire was uh, installed during renovations after the, the, the Napoleonic Wars. So in a sense, it's already uh, an anachronism uh, that is now going to be replaced. But it's true that, uh, uh, and as Bobby says, that since the era of mass tourism, the image we've had of, of Notre Dame uh, in uh, movies and, and, and literature uh, and so forth, uh, it does include the, this spire, and obviously it was the most striking moment of that day of uh, terrible coverage when the, as, as, the, as the church burned down. Uh, broader, I think, as a form of Paris resident, there's a, there's a big question about whether Paris is a ville musée. Uh, have, is, is Paris museum now just, just a museum city uh, for the benefit of, uh, of Chinese, Japanese, and American tourists? <laughs> And if the tourists aren't coming back anymore in the era of COVID, uh, you know, I know, build a new city. <laughs> build a new city. Here's Macho. Would you like to see a new city or the old Paris? That's why I, 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 this is reduced me nearly to tears. I think you have to not include me in this answer. Okay. Sorry. All right. I'll put it to Catherine Field then. Catherine, Catherine Fields, build a new city or make it exactly the way it was before? Well, I'm of the opinion that we have these anchors in our lives and these buildings are as much our anchors, whether it be the Acropolis, whether it be the Colosseum, and Notre Dame is one of them. And in a time of great uncertainty as we are at the moment, it's good that it's going to be put back up. It's going to be there. We're all going to uh, be able to go back and see it. And we're going to be anchored in such a changing and uncertain world. Uh, but you have to also remember that steeples and spires were put on churches and cathedrals for a reason. And one of them was so as people could see them from afar and pilgrims could make their way to it. And that is still the case that that spire on Notre Dame is seen from a great distance and people can know that they're getting there. And uh, also those spires are needed by the churches because they have to have something on their churches that shows that they're closer to God. So if people who believe in God go to this place where they are told they can be closer to God because it's a, a assembly place for people who believe in God. So you, you have to put that spire back up. This isn't a time, Francois, in our lives in this uncertainty to start having new things like swimming pools on the top of Notre Dame or, or roosters on the top of Notre Dame put it back, bring us all back to what, where we were before this fire, before Notre Dame just came into all our hearts. 